Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lily informed Billy at Crimson Lights that he was the problem at Abbott Chancellor. Lily said that she had defended Billy from his critics for the entire day. Billy didn't know why Lily was so interested in what other people thought, but Lily asserted that Billy had to go. Billy and Lily disagreed on whether Victor posed a real threat to Abbott Chancellor. Lily claimed to have been sucked up in Billy's schemes, but later came to understand that Billy was instability to everything. Billy could not take Lily or the business down with him. Billy maintained that Lily was merely buying all the crap that people were saying, and the company was going to have enormous success soon. Billy was baffled as to why Lily's ambitions seemed to have changed everything. Billy asserted that staying with the company was not a call to make for Lily. Angry, Lily asked Billy if he would think about stepping down from his position at the company so that she could be the face and the voice of the new Chancellor image. Lily made a suggestion that stunned Billy, telling him that if Lily didn't like what he was doing, she should leave. After declaring that he wasn't going anywhere, Billy walked out. Devon and Abby were out on a date at the jazz lounge. Devon discussed the difficulties of splitting the companies, and Abby added that Lily's continued employment at Chancellor didn't make it any easier for Devon. Devon and Abby decided right away to cut off their conversation about employment. Abby proposed that they take a vacation shortly when Devon and Abby were dancing. In response, Devon stated that the business was during a significant change. Before they relaunched Winters, Abby contended that it was the perfect time to take a vacation. Devon stated they had to stay in the city for the Abbott Chancellor news. Abby inquired as to whether Devon was bothering anyone. While Devon claimed to be only worried about Lily, Abby suspected that Devon was thinking about something else. Devon acknowledged having spoken with Victor, and Devon expressed concern that Victor's schemes may harm Lily. Billy and Victor could be managed by Lily, Abby insisted. Devon assured Abby that he would find a solution when she suggested that they take a getaway. After sharing a kiss, Abby recommended that they go home. Billy was there when they ran into each other outside. Devon was filling his sister's head with lies about Billy. Billy told Devon. Devon, according to Billy, was attempting to destroy his career. Devon gave Billy some advice to pump the brakes on his behavior. Billy called Devon a pain in the ass, to which Devon replied that he hoped Billy would one day look in the mirror and decide to do the right thing. While by himself at the pub, Billy took a call from Chelsea. Chelsea said that she and Connor were back at their house. Billy and Chelsea decided to meet up early the following day. Billy called Lily while she was sitting in the park. Billy stated he wanted to share an idea with her. At home, in their bedroom, Devon and Abby carried on their romantic evening. Summer escorted Harrison to his own bed at the Abbott Mansion, telling Jack and Diane that he had not been feeling well. As soon as Kyle entered, he insisted on knowing what Summer had let happen to Harrison. Summer was perplexed as to why Kyle wasn't traveling to Paris. Diane admitted that after Summer had brought Harrison over unwell, she had contacted Kyle. Summer expressed her shock that Diane had phoned Kyle when Kyle went to see how Harrison was doing. Summer accused Diane of attempting to make Summer look bad so that Kyle would have the upper hand in the custody battle, to which Diane defended her choice. Jack made an effort to soothe Summer, and Kyle came back after seeing Harrison. Summer recommended that Kyle board the aircraft again and head to Paris. Sumer was free to return to the athletic club, according to Kyle. Until they were certain Harrison was feeling better, both parents would not leave. Summer went upstairs to see how Harrison was doing after Jack extended an invitation to stay the night. Jack informed Kyle that Harrison was not benefiting from all of the arguments. After thanking Diane for getting in touch with him regarding Harrison's predicament, Kyle walked away. Jack cautioned Diane that Kyle's brief expression of gratitude wasn't precisely a ceasefire. It was clear that Diane continued to find encouragement in Kyle's kindness toward her. 
Diane and Jack discussed their aspirations for the family's reconciliation, and Jack recommended that they concentrate on assisting Kyle and Summer in calming their storm. When Summer came back downstairs, she informed Kyle that Harrison had been to see him. When Adam came home from picking up Connor in Baltimore, Sally was fast asleep on the couch. Sally tucked Ava's baby cap under the pillow as soon as she woke up. Adam mentioned that Connor had been eager to return home, which is why he arrived home early. Sally claimed she was dazed from falling asleep, but Adam could see something wasn't right. Adam informed Sally of Connor's development. Adam persisted in asking Sally about her thoughts even after she said that she was very delighted to hear about Connor. Adam moved upstairs to change as Sally sidestepped his questions. Sally took the baby cap she was cuddling and tucked it away in the chair. Sally told Adam that she had been discussing Chelsea's problems with Billy when Adam got back. Adam put Billy's worries down to his own insecurities. Adam was unsure about Billy and Chelsea's future together, and Sally questioned why Adam believed that. Sally objected to Adam's explanation that Billy was just concerned with himself. Billy had been quite supportive of Sally and Connor's situation, but Adam claimed that Billy was self-destructive and that he always wrecked things. Adam's support for Chelsea and Billy's breakup irritated Sally. Billy, according to Adam, was a toxic influence on Connor. Adam declared that he didn't want to talk about Chelsea and Billy any longer. After Sally went to bed, Adam texted Chelsea to wish Connor a happy night. Adam noticed the infant bonnet tucked into the chair's gap as soon as he stood up. It dawned on Adam why Sally had been absent. When Adam went back to the night he and Sally had lost their child, he recalled informing Sally that the child didn't make it. As Sally came downstairs, she noticed that Adam was carrying the hat. It had been a year since the baby's death, and Adam apologized for being so preoccupied. Both Adam and Sally started crying, and Sally admitted that she knew how much Adam had been through with Connor. Adam claimed that they ought to have grieved together, for Ava. After Sally gave the baby cap a hug, Adam drew her in for a cuddle. Which storyline are you looking forward to seeing the most on Monday, August 12, 2024? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. For more about what's happening on your favorite soaps and more ways to connect with us, join the conversation on our Facebook page, check out our Twitter feed, look for an update on our Instagram, follow us on threads. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.